Hello, I'm Robert Reeves, and this is your spiritual guidance for the week ahead. So let's have a look and see which card comes up. I think this one is trying to escape already. I'm going to put that at the top of the deck. That's the one we're picking this week. Look how quick it is. You know, it takes five seconds to get some guidance. <laughs> The energy that the angels say is surrounding us this week is also one of forgiveness. Now, forgiveness is a humongous topic. <laughs> it is, it's a whole course in itself. <laughs> For me, to do forgiveness justice in like five minutes is, it's impossible. I can't do it. You know, I'm not that advanced at spiritual teaching to give you the, the key to forgiveness in that much time. Um, but what I feel this week is we're given the opportunity to let go of some old hurt, some old painful emotions that we just don't need to hold on to anymore. You think of it like this luggage, you know, think of it like baggage that we're carrying around. And the angels are saying, if we carry that stuff with us everywhere we go, it gets heavy. It gets heavy and it starts to weigh us down. So instead of carrying this junk around with us every single day, let's dump that stuff. Let's get rid of those old emotions and that old energy that serves us no purpose. You know, if we think about the benefit of carrying around those old emotions, there isn't any. You know, and we justify it sometimes by thinking, well, if I hold on to this old pain, then that's somehow doing it justice or serving a purpose for what that person did to me. But it isn't, is it? It's not doing anybody any good. So this week, if you feel some old stuff start to resurface, what I want you to do is not push it back down. I don't want you to feel angry about it or resentful. But instead, notice what's coming up. Notice that feeling and let it go. Know that it is taking up precious space that we could fill with love. We could fill that space with so many more wonderful memories, happiness, and joy. But at the moment, it's taking up too much room. You know, I use this analogy that the angels gave me where it's like that closet we have in the house. You know, the one that's just full of stuff. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. But there's that one closet in the house that's just jam-packed full of this old stuff. And we, if we want to put new stuff in there, we can't. There's no room. So we have to pull out some of the old junk, go, mm, do I really need this? You know, and donate it to charity or goodwill or just get rid of it because it's so bad. <laughs> but at the same time, we realize we can't get new stuff and put new stuff in that closet if the old stuff is taking up too much space. And the same thing is happening with our emotions. If you've been attracting new positive emotions, but you find that they can't get there, maybe it's because there's too much junk in the way right now. So just let this stuff go this week. Allow it to just be a natural process. You know, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be painful. We're not reliving it. We're not saying what they did is okay. What we are doing is we're choosing to take control of our happiness again. So let's have a look and see what card this is. World Energy. Now, this is interesting because I pulled this card for myself <laughs> just the other day. And what this means is that there's so much going on and that the energy of the entire planet is making you extra sensitive right now. So if you've noticed any aches and pains, maybe headaches or difficulty concentrating, that's an interesting way of saying concentrating, but we'll just run with that. <laughs> and then there's that also you might be feeling tired and drained. You know, so pay attention to those things this week and notice it's not you. It's just because you're so sensitive now that you're feeling all of this stuff that's all around us. So let's allow the energy of these cherry blossoms to clear us to bring back that gentle softness, that tranquility and peace that we really do want. 
So I hope you have a beautiful and a magical week this week. And may all of your dreams come true.